Ramsey, welcome back. It's another installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling. Bling, bling, <laughs> no, I absolutely wait. love it. Of course, we are rounding up August, and this August month, we have been celebrating women in the food industry. And today, it's time to celebrate the women behind the scenes who help make Espresso's food absolutely come alive every single morning. And that's for you and us, Mzandi. So these young ladies will be sharing their favorite breakfast recipes. First up, it is Chef Kelly and Damons in the building. Yeah. Let us welcome Kelly into the studio yeah. kitchen. <laughs> Kelly, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? You look good. I'm good though. Thank I'm more you. excited because I get to share this moment with you. I see all the hard work that you do behind the scenes and I think it's so deserving that you actually come up here, show Mzanzi who you are and who are the people behind all the magic that gets displayed out here. So I'm grateful to have you on my team and I'm grateful for you to be able to showcase your magic to Mzanzi. Thank you, Dal. <laughs> I'm very excited for this opportunity and yeah. Let's do Let's the thing. All right, so you, Mzanzi, can also join in on the discussion and send us your voice notes, right? Okay, so, uh, Clem, you ready? I am. So when I told Kelly about this whole idea and I said, I will be your assistant, she started rubbing her hands and she was like, oh, yes. What to do, what to oh, do. Oh, yes, she's <laughs> going to make me work today. Okay, so, Kelly, tell us what you're making, where the inspiration, where the inspiration came from. Okay, so today... And what are you going to make me do? Oh my goodness, okay, go on. Calm down, Kelly, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so today we'll be making Kelly's Brekkie Buns. This oh, nice. originated one morning when I and the social media team were a bit feeling a bit picky. So I decided, let me see what's in the fridge and let me just grab and put something together. And Kelly's Brekkie Buns came about. So yeah, it's delicious, it's easy, it takes about 10 minutes okay. to do. I feel like this yeah. is Kelly's any kind it's of quite food because yeah. this is what you kind of do. You find all these crazy ingredients. I walk in the studio and I'm like, oh, yeah. smells good. That's Kelly cooking up you some concoction, you know doing something lekker in the kitchen. And that's what I love. Your creativity is so on point. So let's do the things. How are we doing this? Okay, let's start with the burger patties. Right. Clem, you can get that going. Okay. You can just sear them off. Are you going to give us a show today? Are you going to do, do, one, one, do one, one? Do one, one. Give yeah. us a show. I'll try. Okay, I'll try. Let's get nice Please and hot. Let's get nice and hot. So we're using beef patties. Can yeah. we like use chicken patties, you can any use patties, veggie patties? Any patties. You could even use bacon. You can substitute uh -huh. it. If, you, if you're not uh, a meat eater, you can go for a veggie patty. All right. Even fish, if you're pescatarian. So whatever goes, whatever in the, whatever's in the fridge, Go we for use, it, go we're for using it. this recipe. Can I yes, just say, please. South Africa, I come in in the morning, I just walk into the kitchen, I just do my thing. But 80% of the work that's done, which you see me do, it's all over here. Oh, so well, so thank true. you for and making me look. And a few others. There's others. others. <laughs> thank you for making me look so good every morning. No, you're really, really. You're is, that a tear? is that a tear? Is that a tear? All right. Okay. I've got your burger patties going. Talk to me about the rest. And then yeah. the eater of this breaky buns, I would say, is the sauce. Mm. It's a, a quite a simple sauce. It's just mayo with some chives. And the smoky habanero sauce, guys, and I tell you, the sauce is life. I mean, it's life because <laughs> and it's all the right notes. And for and you, you, just, you obviously like it's quite spicy, right? You can I handle a, a level honey, up or two. Honey, you know me, I love my spice. And this is quite spicy, so I go with the tablespoon at first and according to your preference, if you don't like it too spicy, just tone it down. If you like it spicier, just add right, some So I think you and Kim are going to throw all of it in there. Oh, and yeah. add another have her live habanero in there while you can, probably. I'm a big fan <laughs> of, like, spice for breakfast. I, and I know it. it sounds weird, but that's where I'm at. Yeah, and there's a lot of people in studio that's not quite up to our standards. Say their names. <laughs> when it comes Say to their names. Okay, I won't, I won't no, be around. No, 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 no. But so. <laughs> so, oh, yes, yeah. please. And it's quite simple, so then you'll just end up toasting your burger patty and then putting on some sauce of your smoky apple sauce. Mm. So I can you get a smell of this actually because I'm already, getting, I'm already getting the notes and. The fire, the creaminess, mm. everything's kind of combining together. I can it see how this together. just makes it turn into a kitty sensation. Yes. <laughs> okay, now you can go in and put it down. Right. So I can just garnish this now. I'm yes. nervous now that you're around because I know how good you do this, but let me try, let me try, let me try. All right, so uh, we've got my bun that's already been made, I see over here. I'm going to no, pop. You're going to add some rocket first. Oh, you see, you see. Your clearly, base. Yeah, clearly, your base. clearly your base. I need to listen here. So we're going to add the rocket first as our base. I'm seeing cheese. Can I have the cheese? Yes. So while that's cooking, once it's finished, close to being finished off, you're just going to add your mozzarella slices and let that melt on the burger. All right. Uh, All right yeah. And then you're going to... Now what can I do? Already done here. Mm -hmm. So then you can... You can and it has to, to be a runny egg, right? Please, Rani. Okay, Please, Kelly. Rani. Rani. While Ralph's doing that, I've got five questions for you. Okay? 
rapid questions. Oh, yes. Okay. So. <laughs> you, I mean, I why not? Why not? Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. So let's go. First question. Okay. If you weren't an espresso chef, out of all the jobs in espresso, whose job would you want? I love that Quick, question. You, you Who's can't think. Job? Who's you can't think. Whose job would you want? Lucian Albertain. Lucian Albertain. <laughs> Lucian Albertain. Why? Because, because ask me why. Oh, okay. <laughs> why? <laughs> because I get to pass everyone around. <laughs> um, uh, yes, the, the truth. Please. The truth. The truth. Okay. If someone had to cook a meal for you for a special event, a date or whatever celebration, what meal should they cook you? Uh, okay. I love a good pasta. A good a pasta. pasta. Okay, you got to be quicker love with these ones. Pasta. What's the one food or ingredient you don't like? Coriander. <laughs> that was G shouting coriander in the background. Three. Two. Broccoli. Broccoli. Okay, Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with any of the espresso presenters <laughs> for six hours, mm -hmm. okay, you're going to be stuck in an elevator for six hours, any presenters, who's it going to be? Jamie Lee Domberg. Jamie oh, Lee Domberg. Okay. Shout out to Jamie. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Complete the sentence. Kelly is always on time. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Kelly just absolutely say, Kelly, I've got to say, uh, from what I'm hearing upstairs as well, Mzanti loves you. You're getting voice notes coming in thick and fast. I want to play one right now because clearly the people love seeing you on this side of the screen. So let's hear what this one is about. Morning, Expresso. Morning, listeners. I just want to say, Kelly and Diamonds, I'm super proud of you. One of our ex-learners at Heathfield High. Did you get a new high? That's my hometown. Yes, I oh my that. goodness. Okay. Thank he you. He feels finest. Right you know. here. <laughs> I mean, hello. Oh, I absolutely love it. Guys, we're getting so distracted. You're having fun with the kitty. How's the burgers going it's on good. there on your side? It's good. It's good. They're looking good. Nice cheese mouth. Yes, and that's what we want. And, and then I just want to make sure, did I do this correctly? Because I, I know you're going to come at me. I'll give you a 90 out of 100. I'll take it. I'll take it. For the 10%, <laughs> you're just going to add some jalapeno chutney. Ah, yes. Yamos. Just add some more. And there you go, Kelly's Bricky Buns. Oh, I absolutely oh, love yes. it. Espressoshow.com if you want to get the recipe. Ladies and gentlemen, big Ooh. round of applause for Kelly. Yes, yes. Yes. yes, the powerful woman. Yes, to celebrating them in the month of August and rounding up everything that is woman in this country. And I don't want it to stop now. Let's make it go to September, October, November. Every single year should be about our woman and putting these incredible people on that pedestal. For now, though, the Culinary Hotline Bling will continue in just a bit. And we'll see you there. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Yes, Mzanzi, welcome back. Of course, this morning we are celebrating yet another woman that has been involved mm -hmm. behind the scenes in the Espresso Kitchen. It goes by the name of Courtney Peterson. She's the newest member, having joined us in May. She's currently completing her internship. And uh, with that being said, she's going to be welcomed into the kitchen. Courtney, make your way here. Beautiful Woo! Courtney in the building. I, I feel like, in my opinion, Courtney's the sassiest of the lot. Yeah, I had to say that. <laughs> but when she started, she was so quiet. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's just like, pew, pew. <laughs> Yo. Before we get into the segment, of course, for you, Mzanzi, if you have any questions for Chef Clem or maybe Courtney herself, she is a specialist, of course, then please join in on the discussion and, discussion and send us your voice notes to our WhatsApp line. That's 063-408-8863. Of course, while we've got Courtney here, I want to ask you all of the things because, yes. again, you're one of the women that we get to, uh, I essentially say, you're the reason why we look so good on the kitchen here. You've been doing so much great work, always on it, and you still bring the sass to make it so much fun. But let's get into some of your favorites because okay. you're always putting everybody else up on the pedestal. This is your time to shine. Okay. So let's talk about your shining moments. And it started off with the first meal of the day. Okay. I know you're busy. I know you're always hustling. Yes. So you've got to make a quick, fast breakfast, but mm. you still want to make it taste good. And I know you tick that box. What's your go-to breakfast? My go-to breakfast is an egg skillet. A skillet. Uh, egg skillet. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, okay. it's eggs cooked in smoochie. 
I was gonna no. pretend like I knew, but okay. I didn't have to okay. ask. But the, the, the thing about a smooch is, smooch is not just onion and tomato. There's gotta be love mm. in it. Yeah. It's gotta like be intense. Mm. Yeah. And I've got a thing about eggs cooked in like smoochy. It's mm. my go-to. I can have a breakfast, lunch, dinner, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's so I easy love to it. Make it's a one pan thing as well. So what have I got in the pan at the moment? So at the moment you got your onions frying over there until it turns brown. Next, you put in your garlic. Yeah, I like that the breakfast flavors that we're coming through with are quite like strong. It's not flakes milk. Yes. We're yeah. going through with garlic, onion. Mm. Kelly came through with some serious flavors as well. Habanero. Start your day off with a little bit of fire. Yeah, bit yeah. Of fire. yeah. and we've got some chili over here. Okay, yes, fire. yes, yes. Clem, you were talking about this earlier, starting your day off hot. I think it's also adding some benefit to a lot of people, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to like the realm of an athlete. Mm. Just causing that heat can get the body to start yeah. quicker. Right. Sometimes can even increase the metabolism, so it gets the burn going for longer. So what better way to start your day with is some fire and yeah. some good old tasting fire on top of that. I love this. Yes, it, please. This dish also has like other versions of it in, in Mexico. There's Cuevos Rancheros, which is oh. a similar version. Okay. Then there is shakshuka, and then the Italian is also eggs in ragu. I'm, I'm just a sucker for eggs in smoochie. Mm. I absolutely love it. And you know what also makes it a smoochie for me? That ingredient over there, the sugar. Yeah. Mm, and we'll get to it in a bit. Yes. It's got to be a little sweet. It's got to be a yeah. little sweet. Okay, what's next? Okay, next you put in your tomatoes. And is this just... Can I use tin tomatoes at all? You can. Okay, but, but I... it's better to use normal tomatoes for the natural flavor. Got you. So yeah. did you just cut that up or did you blend it? I mm -hmm. actually use a stick blender ah, because I like okay. more gravy than chunky tomatoes. But it, up, it depends on you, how I you like, want I, it. I think especially when it comes to a smoothie, you don't want to be chewing into it too much. So right, I think I'm right, here right. for the gravy. Courtney, bring on the gravy. <laughs> Courtney, you got, I'm your chef. I'm your chef. I will help you today. Tell me what That's to do. That's your time. You, no, you tell me. us what to do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. You okay. just let your onions and your tomato with your chili and um, garlic um, fry mm -hmm. um, for a few minutes. After that, you'll put in your um, cocktail sausages or fiannas. Plain waters. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Can I make this the day before? So yes. when it comes to the morning, I can just put it in the pan? Yes, you can. Okay. Does and the s'more not taste better? The, 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 the longer it dries, right. yes. it's better and better and better. <laughs> so the waters go in, and obviously you can use like any other yes. like type of like substitute for these vorses i'd like i like it quite cute i know a lot of people that might have like a pack of viennas or something yeah. like that <laughs> they definitely Ooh. throw that in here do as you well get, right? do you get red cocktail viennas oh yeah that's true yeah i'm, I'm sure yes, you, you do. do oh i'm wow. sure you do that, that'll yeah. be I've okay all right while you're busy let me stir i'm ready for your five questions so we're doing this oh, thing yeah. we're doing this <laughs> thing okay so <laughs> kelly gave us her five we did her five questions it's okay. your turn now okay I didn't want you to ask me questions, by the way. Can you see the sass? <laughs> Can you see the sass? <laughs> and that's exactly how I get it. Okay. I didn't ask you. Okay, here we go. Okay. Gatsby or fish and chips? Gatsby. Got it. Boom. What's your favorite food? Smell. Seafood. Seafood. Ooh, nice. uh, I get you, I get you, I get you. If you weren't a chef, okay. what job would you have? Gosh. Okay, something to do with management. With management. Mm. Another illusion. <laughs> Another illusion. <laughs> Another illusion. <laughs> These people just want to tell people what to do. That's all they want to do. Okay. If you had to start a business Ooh. with any of the presenters, who would it be and what would the business be? Ryle. With Ryle. Yes. With Ryle. Yes. Okay. What are we okay. going to do? And what what's the business? Do? A modeling agency. Oh. Okay. 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 Wait, wait, wait. To the camera, that camera, stop, stand here, stand, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. To your, your inductees that you're gonna invite into your yeah. agency, give them a little strut, look into that camera, do a little strut, what are you looking for in this modeling agency? You put yourself in this position, a quick strut. A young blue steel. Uh, 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 yes, <laughs> yes! Yeah. Hey, Clem, 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 turn the heat down, oh, it's getting too hot. It's getting oh, way too hot. Oh, you can. Okay, there's one more question. Just by the way, by the way, I'm in on the agency. You, you got me sold. Let's do this. We're making we it happen to today. This, investors, yes. investors can call or let us know on the yes. Facebook page after the show. Last question. Okay. Kelly's question was complete the sentence. Kelly is. Yours okay. is. Complete the question. Complete the, the sentence. Courtney is never. Courtney's never quiet. <laughs>
it. You heard it, yeah. You heard it, yeah. I love it. I love, I love it. it. Courtney, thank you so much. I mean, it's just a small amount of a dose of you that the yeah. camera's getting to see. But again, I've got to say, it's such an honor, and it's really awesome to have you all throughout the day, being able to engage with you and chat to you and see your sass come through. And even yeah. in your meals, the flavor's sassy. The spice has got you that know, sense. I'm I, I see what you're about. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. How are we looking over there, Cliff? Eggs are going in. Okay. Yeah. I see you got some coriander. Yes. Yes. Grand's favorite. Put you got some to tomato. Work. That's going to be chopped up. It just needs up. to be chopped up. All right. What is this going on uh, the meal later? Or no, what's the purpose of this? I just wanted you to do some chopping up on the tomato. <laughs> She just wanted to tell people what to do. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm going to do it for you. This is your moment. This is your moment. Let's make you shine. <laughs> I love Clem, that. you're looking good in your sack. This is good. So the eggs are going to go, and then yes. what I prefer is okay. when the whites are just set. Yes. How would you do it? What I'll do is um, I actually like it where it's, you know, covered. Completely? Completely, yeah. yes. Got you. Got so you. I'll put a lid on top. And... Can I finish this on the stove or does it have to be the oven? Yes, now you can finish it on the stove. in the oven as okay. well, actually. Listen, okay. guys, we, we get so caught up in the kitchen here, I forget you that we put, actually... You can know, baked beans in as well. Yes! If you want to. Yes, yes. Oh, protein. I like that. Yes. I like that. Yes, definitely some good protein in that and also convenient at the same time. Just yes. pop it out of a can. Yeah. Guys, we forget that there's having so much fun and we are having so much fun here. We're getting so many voice notes and WhatsApp uh -huh. voice notes. I need to play one right now, so okay. let's see what the first one is. Good morning, Spirit. So good morning, Courtney. Morning. Good morning, Chef. I would just like to ask, like, what is the perfect breakfast to make on a Saturday morning after a long week of work, you off weekends? What is the perfect breakfast to make on a Saturday morning? I like that. And you can't use Some... Peterson's egg skin no, because no, that's no. already that's already a goodie. So they ask after night out, eh? Oh, oh no 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 no. They didn't say after <laughs> night. Uh, they said after a long week of working. What's an oh. like, amazing Saturday morning breakfast? Uh, okay, normal um, four hours breakfast for me. Breakfast. Mm, sausage? Bacon, sausage, egg, tomato gravy. Mm -hmm. Also, if you tomato want. Tomato gravy. I've Toast. got a question. Mm -hmm. so, so that is the farmer's breakfast, and I 100% agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you say is the one breakfast that people can just cancel? You're not here for this breakfast meal. It can just be done. <laughs> It's the face for me. She's because she, she goes, goes somewhere. <laughs> she goes somewhere. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm, okay, how do you feel about that cronut trend? Remember that? Mm? That donut mixed with a croissant. Oh. Yeah. Are you there for that? No. No. Cancel. <laughs> Courtney that. says. On, I, I have done. a question though because you mentioned something about after night out. Is there a different option breakfast for no. those that have had an, a, a, a hectic night out? N Do nothing. you have a, a, a breakfast remedy cure? Just something fatty. Ah, I like that. Yeah. With a little yeah. bit of spice. Absorb yeah. all the all the toxins in you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, you've been an absolute treat. Honestly, it's so much fun having women behind the kitchen number one and celebrating powerful mm. women and especially all the women that make this kitchen come to life and you're definitely one of those so thank you so much no problem. i can't wait to obviously start our uh, modeling agency yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but before we get into that i see we've got a finished product on the side there can yeah. i do the honors of maybe can I bring it to you? Test? oh yes please and just bring so it you, on just so you know courtney and kelly are both going to be in the kitchen for the last part of the hot oh. <laughs> we have the fire extinguisher ready <laughs> we are ready for whatever's about to happen i've not been told what's happening in the kitchen i was just told come and be prepared and i'm very impressed I'm the two for it. of you are absolutely amazing <laughs> Listen, I must just say, you probably woke up at early hours of the morning once again preparing all these meals like you did, but this one looks absolutely exceptional. The eggs are done perfectly. I like the fact that it's still got that runniness. The smurchi is on point. I'm going to get a little bit of that chili in there, bring the heat, and uh, pop that egg in there. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Peterson's skillet eggs from heaven. Mm. Ah, you have done yourself, lady. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolute magic. Of course, for you, Mzanzi, you can find this recipe at expressoshow.com. And don't forget, we've got one more segment with this powerhouse and the other powerhouse of earlier, and it's going to be magic. See you soon. <laughs> it's my feel good birthday show. Ah, how can you not jingle to that? Welcome back from Zanzi. It's the final, final edition of the Culinary Hot Lab Ching, ching, ching! ching. Yeah. And of course, if you were watching earlier, we were celebrating the incredible woman behind the scenes. And yes, the jig is up. It's not us that look this good. It's the reason why, because of them. They are the reason why we shine out here in the kitchen. And they is... 
Kelly and Courtney back in the building once again and we are doing something absolutely special. Guys, we had a chance to see what your go-to breakfasts were, but now we want to talk about something that I know a lot of people are challenged with, a lot of people find to be very overwhelming and that's the classic Eggs Benny, baby, the Eggs Benedict. And we thought, let's put the two strongest women that we have in the studio together, let's throw a collab together and make the ultimate Eggs Benny. So, how do you say we do this, Chef Clem? You ready for this one? Again, I'll be your assistant. You tell me what to do. Yeah, they can put us at work. But Courtney's, <laughs> but what would you tell? Do no, Courtney, no. I'm a fragile oh, soul. <laughs> be gentle with me. Okay, what can I do? So, Clem, you can start by toasting the buns, our English muffins, for us. Okay, cool. Just like in it. a hot pan. Can you share some butter with me, please, neighbor? Five Five rand. Five rand. Five rand. Perfect. I'll do that. There you, you can, go. I'll take this piece right here. Thank you. And then I'll start with the hollandaise sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just some egg yolk, so I'm adding some vinegar to it, just a little bit. We're going to whisk that up. And over a double boiler, a double boiler is essentially just a saucepan filled with water. Okay. That's boiling, but heated water, not rapidly boiling. All so right. we'll just get that going. And over the saucepan, and the reason why you don't want it to boil um, too much is because you don't want the water in the saucepan to reach a bowl or else your, egg, your eggs will scramble. Oh, because of all that heat yeah. coming through from the steam. All so right, you, I got it's you. It's kind of like tempering the eggs, so. Nice. Courtney, I see that our muffins up. weren't sliced through. There was a specific yeah. way that you did that. Can you show us how you did that? Yes, it's a fork. The reason we do this is to keep the texture and the old sauce. Mm. So it creates like a little, like the, so when you toast it, it's like a little, a little extra crunchy bits. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Rustic, yeah. Bits. that rustic finish. I like that. And I, I like, like the that. way that that, like you mentioned, catches all that sauce. Yeah. It increases the surface area and just gets that absorption mm. rate to come through on this one. Ladies, just a quick question. What's it feel like being on the side of the kitchen and the cameras? I think it's quite nice, hey? Are you <laughs> I think it's quite nice, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting used to this? Uh, no, yeah. I think we can too because we genuinely are having so much fun yeah, and I really think fun. that we should put our woman up on the pedestal more often. So let's hope that this is the first of many, yeah? Yeah. Okay? We're going to put some good words in there. Yeah, South Africa, <laughs> let us know if you want to see more Courtney yes. and Kelly on TV. They are absolute superstars. Like I said, that I just come in and do, and it wasn't for them, there would be no show. So thank you so much to the both of you for all your hard work. But I am so easy to work with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the face. Oh, That's Courtney's no, face no. for me. <laughs> but I'm just in your office. Courtney, you don't agree though, eh? You know, sometimes <laughs> yes, when I moments. want my chuckles and I want the oh, yeah? ice cream, then maybe yes, and you I want that that. plug. <laughs> I'll make sure you get more chuckles than you. But it is an absolute pleasure working with both of you. I feel like I've been with you since you both were like perfectly in students, <laughs> and I've seen you turn into the amazing, amazing owners of the kitchen. And mm. it's, it's been a pleasure working with you. Mm. Mm. Likewise, mm. likewise. I'll Send you a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> you can check it in the mail. Kelly, how are we going there with the tempering? Are we on it? It's all good. So it's slightly thickened and you want it this way. So you'll add it back onto your saucepan and then just slowly add your cube butter. It's got one a cube at a time. A fluffiness to it there. Yeah. Is, that, is that what we want? That's what we want. It's amazing. Yeah. I've never seen an egg really do that. I was definitely expecting more of like a scramble, but I see what you mean when it comes to it that heat. It shouldn't scramble. It shouldn't scramble. Shouldn't. Mm. Ah, okay. So if you're scrambling, then that means it's too hot. Yes, it's too yeah, hot. And okay. then you're going to have to start from yeah. over. Uh, oh, and over again, yeah. So you yeah. have a scramble starter before the, the main eggs benedict. Yeah. Okay. And what you want is a nice um, creamy velvety sauce. Um, the eggs is the binder in this in the case in this case in olden days mm -hmm. okay and the butter just gives it a nice velvet consistency no not, it's not diet food but this is no. like weekend food right <laughs> so fast forwarding through once kelly we're done with that step yeah. obviously that's going into the bowl yes. and you'll start making that beautiful what is, is, is this the hollandaise Holland itself sauce, okay yeah. then we head over to this uh, yes. period over here what's happening on the side so what we're doing we're assembling okay. egg benedict right. now so this is the hollandaise sauce that we've done already yeah. and over here it's two personal um two personalities this is a kelly and this is courtney <laughs> Okay, fish okay. and ham. Because you were saying, obviously, the one of the best smells that you yes. love is obviously fish when it comes to seafood. And uh, Kelly, you're not such a fan of seafood? No, I love seafood. It's okay. just eggs benedict. It's a classic ham for me. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. I think you can't go wrong with either or. And, of course, Courtney is putting on the finishing touches on this one, yeah. as she always does without any hesitation. Um, is there a process to this? 
No, not really. You Just can do actually do whatever you want to do. Yeah. All right. All right. It looks like it's coming together. Yeah. Pretty much once we've stacked it all together, is that it? That's the final step. Yep. And beautiful hollandaise goes on top of that. I see you've already done this. And then uh, voila, the recipe is almost mm. essentially done. Kim, what do you I'm say? I'm so impressed. I am so, so impressed. You're just smiling oh, there like a I, proud dad. <laughs> I do like that they kept the spinach fresh because I like fresh spinach yeah. on my on my eggs, Benny. But this is a proud moment, isn't it? It is indeed. Look at them. Oh, it is indeed. And Zanzi, for you though, just remember you can get this recipe at expressoshow.com and also come through on those comments and make sure that we can get these ladies to do some more of this kitchen theatrics because we are loving it. We are here for it. Chef Clem and I are just standing here with massive smiles on our faces. So I think a big round of applause for the woman in the kitchen once again. Zanzi, absolutely slayed us. Yo, yes. we're perfect. And that is your finale of the Culinary Hotline Blink! Ching, ching, ching! Well done, ladies. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>